Okay, now let's continue our discussion in differential calculus under the topic polynomial curves. Now, uh, the last uh, video, we were able to solve the sample problems looking for the tangent line in the normal line. But this time, we will be solving this portion looking for tangent line only. So to start, let's uh, solve for the example number one. Now it says here, find the tangent line of the following. So we are to solve five items. So find the tangent line of the following. The tangent line to the ellipse x squared plus 4y squared equals to 8 and those tangent lines are parallel to the line x plus 2y equal to 6. Now to uh, visualize, so we have here, we have here our um, ellipse x squared plus 4y squared equal to 8. So this uh, orange ellipse here then given the line x plus 2y equal to 6 okay for example this one is the line so just uh, an example then we are looking for the uh, tangent lines which are the color green so these ones are the ones we're looking for now why two why tangent line one and tangent line two now we know that ellipse could have a um, point here as point of tangency of the tangent line two two possible points that could create two uh, lines that is parallel to this line okay therefore we will be looking for these two uh, points of tangency so we have we are looking for p1 and p2 but first let's solve for the uh, slope remember that we're still using this point slope form formula y minus y1 equals to m or the slope x minus x1 now to solve for the slope the slope will be taken from the line which is parallel to the uh, tangent line of ellipse so we're going to use for the line x plus 2y equal to 6 now to get for to get the uh, slope we will be differentiating this so this is uh, 1 plus 2y prime equal to 0 2y prime is equal to negative 1 y prime is equal to negative 1 half therefore m of tangent line is equal to negative 1 half so we're able to get the uh, value of the slope now this time we will need to find for the value of the point of tangency in order to complete this equation okay so solving for point of tangency now to solve for the point of tangency we will need the equation of the ellipse so the equation of the ellipse is x squared plus 4y squared equals to 8 so that is x squared plus 4y uh, squared equals 8 and we will be uh, differentiating this also this is 2x plus this is 8y y prime and equal to 0 then remembering that we are looking for the point of tangency for the tangent line which is parallel to the 
line x plus 2y. Therefore, we will be taking the value of y prime to be substituted here in this uh, y prime of the ellipse. So we now have here 2x plus 8y. The value of uh, y prime is negative 1 half equals 0. 2x uh, minus 4y equals 0. 4y equals negative 2x. Or we can have it x uh, to x equals positive 4y is still they're the same so x is equal to 2 y so as you can observe we still have the x and y variables there so this is equation number one so this is equation one now what will happen since we're looking for the point of tangency on the ellipse, therefore, we will be substituting, substitute x equals 2y to the ellipse. Or the equation, substitute equation 1 to the ellipse. So, remember, we have x squared plus 4y squared equals 8 for the ellipse. Therefore, this becomes 2y squared plus 4y squared equals 8. This is 4y squared plus 4y squared equals 8. 8y squared y squared is equal to 1 so what is the square root of 1 so y is now equal to positive or negative 1 now we are able to get a value of y1 so we have there at y1 anyway now substitute y the value of y to the equation 1. So remember, our equation 1 is x is equal to 2y. Now, at y, 1 is equal to 1. We have there x1 is equal to 2 times 1. Therefore, x1 is equal to 2. Therefore, our point of tangency, p1, so, P point of tangency, let's say there, P point of tangency 1 is now equal to 2, 1. Whereas, at Y2, our second value of Y, which is this 1, so Y1 is equal to 1. Then we have X2 equals... 2 times negative 1 therefore x2 is equal to negative 2 therefore point of tangency 2 is equal to negative 2 negative 1 so finally we are able to get uh, the coordinates needed for this uh, formula and finally we also have the slope let's uh, use the formula so at pt1 a point of tangency 1 so we have there y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 y minus 1 equals what's the value of uh, the m again the, that is equal to negative 1 half x minus 2 therefore this is y minus 1 equals negative 1 half x minus 2 then multiply both sides of the equation with 
negative 2, negative 2. So, this becomes negative 2y plus 2 equal to x minus 2. Then, we have there negative x minus 2y equals negative 2, negative 2. Negative x minus 2y equals 2, negative 4. Or, x plus 2y equals 4. So, this is your tangent line 1. Now, at point of tangency 2, we have their negative 2, negative 1. We have their y minus y2 equals mx minus x2. So y minus negative 1 equals negative 1 half. x minus negative 2. y plus 1 equals negative 1 half x plus 2, then multiply both sides of the equation with negative 2, negative 2. So, we have negative 2y minus 2 equals x plus 2. Negative x minus 2y equals uh, negative uh, positive 2. So, we have there 2 plus 2. We have their negative x minus 2y equals 4. Or, we have their x plus 2y equals negative 4. So, this is the tangent line 2. So, we have two values of tangent line. Okay, so, for the screenshot. Number one. Next, we will have the example number two. For example, number two, we are looking for the tangent line to the ellipse x squared minus xy plus 2y squared minus 4x plus 2y plus 2 equal to 0, which is parallel to x minus 4y equals 2. Just always remember that if the tangent line we're looking for is parallel to a certain line, therefore, that line has the same slope with the tangent line we are looking for. So, for us to complete the equation of the point slope form, we will be solving for the slope. This is the solution. So the slope for the tangent line will be found here in the line x minus 4y equals 2. We will just differentiate it. So, 4y prime is equal to 1. Plus negative, negative. Okay. So, y prime is equal to 1 fourth. M of tangent line is equal to 1 fourth. So, next, we will be solving for D. Since it is ellipse, so we can expect that we're looking for two tangent lines. Therefore, we're looking for two points of tangency. Okay, and uh, we will find that here at the ellipse. So, let's uh, differentiate the equation of the ellipse and then substitute the value of y prime. So, the ellipse is x squared minus xy 
plus 2y squared minus 4x plus 2y plus 2 equals 0. Therefore, this is 2x minus xy prime plus y plus 4y y prime minus 4 plus 0 equals 0. So, differentiation needs some getting used to. 2x minus xy prime minus y plus 4y y prime minus 4 plus 2y prime equals 0. Then, let's substitute uh, all y prime with 1 fourth. So, we have there 2x minus x 1 fourth minus y plus 4y. Then, this is 1 fourth also minus 4 plus 2 times 1 fourth and that is equal to 0 2x minus uh, this becomes x over 4 minus y plus y as we're canceling this minus 4 plus this is 1 half is equal to 0 now this one here could become 0 already Negative y plus y is 0. Okay, so what is 2x minus x over 4? So they must have a common denominator. So we have there 4, 4x. Four uh, yeah. No. It should be 8. 8x over 4 so that it will become 2x minus x over 4 minus this one also so it will become 8 over 2 plus 1 half equals 0 this is 7x over 4 minus 7 over 2 equals 0 7x over 4 equals 7 over 2 multiply both sides of the equation with 4 over 7 4 over 7 so that we can cancel this one out so what's left is 7 no, cancel 7 so what is 4 divided by 2 that is 2 so x then is equal to 2 now having the value of x substitute x2 x is equal to 2 to the ellipse so it is in there in the equation of the ellipse we will find the value for y as point of tangency now remember that our um, equation is x squared minus xy plus 2y squared minus 4x plus 2y plus 2 is equal to 0. 2 squared minus 2y plus 2. y squared 4 times 2 plus 2y plus 2 equals 0. It becomes 4 minus 2y plus 2y squared minus 8 plus 2y plus 2 plus 0. You can cancel this one out as 0 already. So what's left is 2y squared equals, uh, we have negative 4, positive 8, negative 2. 2y squared is equal to this becomes 2 negative 4 plus 8 is a 4 4 minus 2 is 2 therefore y squared is equal to 1 
y is equal to positive or negative 1. Or, y1 is equal to 1, y2 is equal to negative 1. Therefore, points of tangency PT1 is uh, x is equal to 2, 1 and point of tangency 2 is now equal to 2, negative 1. Okay, finally, we got the points, the coordinates. And the slope, again, what's the slope? The slope is 1 fourth. And the equation at okay, PT1 to 1. So we have y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 y minus 1 equals 1 fourth, positive 1 fourth x minus 2 y minus 1 equals 1 fourth x minus 2 multiply both sides with 4 so we have there 4y minus 4 equals x minus 2 negative x uh, plus 4y equals 4 minus 2 negative x plus 4y equals 2 or x plus no x minus 4y equals negative 2 so this is your tangent line 1 now for at point of tangency 2, we have there 2, negative 1, y minus y2, mx minus x2. So y minus negative 1, m is 1 fourth, x minus 2. So we have their y plus 1, 1 fourth, x minus 2. Multiply both sides with 4, with 4. So we have their 4y plus 4 equals x minus 2. Negative x plus 4y equals negative 4, negative 2. Negative x plus 4y equals negative 6, 4. We have there x minus 4y equals 6. Now, this is your tangent line 2. Okay. So, number 2. We have there to the ellipse. Next, number 3. Okay. We're looking for the tangent line to the cubic equation y equals x raised to 3 minus 2x plus 3 whose tangent lines are parallel to the line 10x minus y equal to 3. Now again, since they're parallel, so we're expecting that the slope of the tangent lines is the same with the slope of this line here. So, our solution solve for slope. So, we have there the line 10x minus y equal to 3. So, derive we have 10 minus y prime equals to 0 y prime is equal to 10 or that is slope of uh, tangent line is equal to 10 then 
let's solve for uh, points of tangent C or PT and that is we will take that from the equation of the or, or the cubic equation so y equals x raised to 3 there minus 2x plus 3 y prime equals 3x squared minus 2 plus 0 now let's substitute the value of y prime we have there 10 equals 3 x squared minus 2 so this becomes 12 equals 3 x squared 4 so x squared so what is the square root of 4 x is equal to positive or negative 2 so we have x1 is equal to 2 x2 is equal to negative 2 now, to get the value for y, substitute the values of x to the cubic equation. So, at x is equal to 2, at x1 is equal to 2, we have there, uh, what's the cubic equation again? y is equal to x raised to 3 minus 2x plus 3 x, yeah, x cubed minus 2x plus 3 so y is equal to 2 raised to 3 minus 2 times 2 plus 3 and this is equal to 8 minus 4 plus 3 this is 4 plus 3 uh, so that is y is equal to 7 therefore pt1 is equal to 2 7 next at x2 equal to negative 2 because that's our x2 there so y equals negative 2 raised to 3 minus 2 negative 2 plus 3 this is um, 8 negative 8 negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 and this one is positive 4 plus 3 therefore y 2 so y 2 is equal to this is negative 1 Therefore, point of tangency 2 is negative 2, negative 1. Finally, we can now have the equations. At pt1, 2, 7, so y minus uh, 7 is now equal to, what's our slope again? Our slope is 10. Then x minus 2. So y minus 7 equals 10. x minus 2. y minus 7 equals 10x minus 20. Negative 10x minus a uh, plus y equals 7 minus 20 negative 10x plus y is equal to negative 13 or we have 10x minus y equals 13 this is tangent line 1 at point of tangency 2 negative 2 negative 1 we have y minus negative 1 equals 10 x minus negative 2 y plus 1 equals 10 x plus 2 y plus 1 equals 10 x plus 20 
negative 10x plus y equals negative 1 plus 20 negative 10x plus y equals 19 so or this is 10x minus y equals negative 19 this is tangent line 2 so that is our example number 3 How about number 4? It says there, find the tangent line to the curve y equals to x raised to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 3 given a slope of 0. So the slope is already given. So solution. There's no need to solve for the slope because m tangent line is equal to 0, meaning it is um, horizontal. Okay, so the slope is 0. Then, what's missing? What's missing is we are solving for or solve for the point of tangency. Point or points of tangency. Okay. So, having the slope equal to 0, this means this is also your y prime. So, let's uh, derive the uh, equation of the curve. So, this becomes y prime equals 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 12x minus 4 plus 0. Having y prime equal to 0, this, mean, this means it is equal to 0. 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 12x minus 4. Now, how do we look for the values of x or the roots of this cubic equation here? Cubic because it's raised to the power of 3. Now, we're going to use the... Uh, synthetic division so using sd or synthetic division in this uh, synthetic division we will just take all the constants of the okay so we will take the constants of the equation so these are four negative 12 12 and negative 4 then we will assume values for x so if we assume a value of x is equal to 1 the assumption is correct if the value here is 0 okay? so if the value here is 0 meaning our assumption that x is equal to 1 is correct Okay, so let's solve. Bring down 4. Multiply 4 with 1. Then the answer for this multiplication will be put here. So again, bring down 4. Multiply 4 with 1. The answer for 4 times 1 is 4. Let's put it here. Then, what is negative 12? plus 4 plus because the pa the sign here is positive so what is negative 12 plus 4 the value there is negative 8 then repeat the process what is 8 multiplied with 1 and then the answer will be put here so negative 8 times 1 is negative 8 negative 8 and what is positive 12 minus 8 positive 12 minus 8 is 4 then again 4 multiplied with 1 the answer will be put here so that's your synthetic division
4 times 1 is 4, then the answer here is 4. What is negative 4 plus 4? And the answer here is 0. And the assumption is correct. This is correct. Again, let's repeat the process. Let's put a value here of x equal to negative uh, positive 1. Actually, this is already 4x squared, negative x, and 4. You can already answer this, uh, the, the roots for this, using quadratic equation. But uh, if you keep on using the synthetic division until the final value is 0, okay? So, it's up to you what you will use to get the values of roots. So, here, our assumption is correct if the final answer here is 0. Again, bring down 4, multiply with 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And yes, the value here is 0. Assumption is correct. And then let's continue. We can for this is this is already x 4x minus 4. Take note that this is 4x cubed, 4x squared, and 4x 3, 2, 1. And then if this is already 4x minus 4, this is 4x minus 4 equal to 0. 4x is equal to 4, therefore x is equal to or 1. Let's see if in the synthetic division we will get 1. Okay, so here let's have the value of 1 here x is equal to 1 bring down 4 4 times 1 is 4 and finally 0 so uh, since this uh, synthetic division in this synthetic division we are uh, uh, solving for a uh, equation raised to 3 therefore we are only looking for 3 roots okay therefore you observe x1 is equal to x2 is equal to x3 and that is 1. The value is 1. Now let's solve for the value of y. So substitute x is equal to 1 to the curve. Our curve a while ago is y equals x raised to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 3. So y is equal to 1 raised to 4 minus 4 times 1 raised to 3 plus 6 times 1 squared minus 4 1 plus 3 so y is equal to 1 minus 4 plus 6 minus 4 plus 3 so y is equal to 2 therefore y1 is equal to y2 is equal to y3 is equal to 2 Therefore, also, point of tangency 1 is 1, 2. Point of tangency 2 is 1, 2. Point of tangency 3 is also 1, 2. Therefore, the equation now is y plus y1 mx minus x1 y minus 2 what's the slope again oh the slope is 0 0 x 1 
y minus 2 is equal to 0. So, this is tangent line 1 equals tangent line 2 and tangent line 3. So, that's the 3 equation. And that's it for number 4. Next is number 5. So, we're going to look for the uh, tangent lines of the parabola y squared equals 6x minus 3. It says here perpendicular to the line x plus 3y equal to 3. So, what does it mean if the tangent line of the parabola is perpendicular with this line. That means the uh, tangent line we're looking for has a slope of has a slope of inverse negative inverse of the uh, slope of the line. So to understand that, let's see the sketch. Let's sketch the curve, so this curve here, and this line. To sketch for the curve and the line, so this is the curve and this is the line. Let's put here values of uh, x to determine the values of y. So if we put here the value of 1, so, what is y squared equals 6 times 1 minus 3? So, if you use your calculator, what will be the value of the square root of 6 times 1 minus 3? That is positive or negative 1.73. For a value of x is equal to 2, to be substituted here minus 3 so what is the uh, square root of uh, uh, this is 12 minus 3 what is the square root of 9 so that is positive negative 3 then if we put here the value of uh, uh, say if i put the value of y is equal to zero y is equal to zero what is 6x minus 3 so we have there one half for the x if i put here the value of positive or negative one for example we have there negative one squared 6x minus 3 what will be the value of x the value of x will be 2 thirds. Now we will plot that uh, curve. So we will be plotting the curve. So we have there at value of y is equal to 0. We have there 1 half. So uh, it may be it, our drawing will not be perfect. But uh, let's just have a sketch uh, representation of the curve and visualize what we mean by the this uh, condition. Okay, so at one half, at two thirds, at two thirds of x. So at two thirds of x, we have positive and negative y. At uh, the value of one for x. We have 1.73, let's assume it here, 1.73, at the value of 2 for x, we have their positive 3 and negative 3 here. Okay, let's trace the curve. Almost. So 
there's the curb now how about the line let's trace the line for the line if the value of uh, uh, y here is 0 so if value of y is 0 the value for x will become 7 if the value for y is 1 x will be 4 if the value of y is 2 x will be 1 if I put x is equal to 0 what is y y is 2.33 now for the line we have there at x is equal to 0 y is 2.33 so here let's assume it's here at x is equal to 1 so here at x is equal to 1 the value for y is 2 so let's assume it here then if x is equal to 4 the value of y is 1 so have it here if x is equal to 7 the value of y is 0 let's plot that oh it's not that perfect well let's assume that it is something like that we hit all the points for example we hit all the points there okay so this here this curve here is our parabola this is y squared equals 6x minus 3 and then this line here is the x plus 3y equals 7 now we are looking for the tangent line now if we put the tangent line here so for example let's have the line here so does this define the condition the tangent line is perpendicular with the line no it's not because for this to become perpendicular the angle here should be 90 degrees therefore the assumption that the point of tangency is here is definitely wrong therefore our point of tangency is not located in that portion where where can we locate that so let's use our sketch so we are looking for a line which is somewhat like this here okay if you observe this is almost 90 degrees In my drawing this is almost 90 degrees so the point of tangency is located here somewhere here so that is our point of tangency we're going to look for that point of tangency so let's solve for the uh, uh, required for our for our um, point slope form equation we're looking for that first how about the slope what is the slope of the tangent line it is equal to so we have the inverse of the yeah that is the normal line there that is define our previous uh, video so let's look for the uh, slope of that line x plus okay. 
solving for slope. So we have there x plus 3y equals 7. 1 plus 3y prime equals 0. Um, 3 y prime equals negative 1 y prime is negative 1 third so this y prime here is the slope of the uh, the line therefore our m uh, tangent line is equal to negative 1 over negative 1 third and that is equal to so this is a normal line so this is 3 m is equal to uh, or uh, the slope of tangent line is equal to 3 or this is y prime tangent line next let's solve for d point of tangency to solve for the point of tangency we will need to differentiate the equation of the parabola which is y squared y squared equals 6x minus 3 so this is 2y y prime equals 6 now which y prime will we use obviously we will be using the y prime for the tangent line which is equal to 3 so this is 2 y 3 equal to 6 and then this is uh, 6 y equals to 6 therefore y is equal to 1 if y is equal to 1 substitute y is equal to 1 2 d parabola in order to get the value of x again the parabola is y squared equals 6x minus 3 y is equal to 6x minus 3 1 is equal to 6x minus 3 6x is equal to 4 therefore x is equal to 4 over 6 or x is equal to 2 thirds therefore point of tangency is 2 third 1 therefore the equation is y minus 1 equals d slope is 3 x minus 2 thirds y minus 1 equals 3 x minus 2 thirds so y minus 1 equals 3 x minus this is 2 therefore negative 3 x plus y equals 1 minus 2 negative 3 x plus y equals negative 1 or that is 3x minus y equals 1 so this is our tangent line so that's the tangent line we are looking for okay so that is for the sample number 5 so that's all for today let's continue our discussion in the next video for the topic increasing and decreasing function